Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna go through how you set up and use valet mode in your Tesla vehicle. First, I'm gonna start off on how to set it up in the screen of your Tesla vehicle. After that, I'm gonna show you how to do it in the Tesla app if you'd prefer to use that option. And then to finish off the video, I'm gonna go over all of the features of valet mode. So to start off, to set up valet mode in your Tesla screen, here towards the top, you can see your profile. You're gonna click on that. And you can see right below that we have valet mode. So we're gonna click on valet mode. And if this is the first time you've entered into this mode, you're gonna to need to create a four digit pin. Make sure it's something that you can remember because to turn off valet mode, you're also gonna to have to enter in this four digit pin. So once you've entered in your four digit pin, we can confirm that we're in valet mode because it says valet here right at the top, as well as right in this area. And to get it out of valet mode, we just simply click on the valet profile here at the top, enter in that four digit pin that we had just entered, and it switches us back over to our own Tesla profile. So next I'm gonna take you over to the Tesla app to show you how you can turn this on and off in the Tesla app itself. To set up valet mode over in the Tesla app, what we wanna do is scroll down until we find where it says security and drivers and click on that. In security and drivers, we can see the option right here for valet mode. Now, if you want to clear your pin and set a different one, you can do so by clicking clear pin. Otherwise, to turn on valet mode, all we have to do is click on this switch here. And this remotely puts your Tesla vehicle into valet mode from the Tesla app. To turn it off, we just have to click this switch again, and that'll take the car out of valet mode. And to finish off this video, I wanna go over all of the features of valet mode. You can tell that Tesla has put a lot of thought into this because it all makes a lot of sense. So to start off, you need to have a key card to use, access, and drive your Tesla. It's gonna be speed limited to 113 kilometers an hour. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is around 70 miles per hour. The maximum acceleration as well as power are gonna be limited. The front trunk as well as the glove box are gonna be locked. So if you want to store things that you don't want stolen, you can do so in those areas and in valley mode, they're not gonna be accessible. Your home and work locations are not gonna be available in the navigation system. Voice commands are gonna be disabled as well as autopilot convenience and features will be disabled. Mobile access settings cannot be changed. Home link will not be accessible. Driver profiles also won't be accessible. You can see you'd have to enter in the pin to get access to that. Some applications such as the toy box and theater won't be accessible. The touchscreen won't display the list of keys that are associated with your Tesla vehicle. We can see that we don't see any key options here in the lock setting. Additionally, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are disabled and you won't be able to pair a new Bluetooth device or add a key, for instance, to your Tesla vehicle and you won't be able to view or delete Bluetooth devices. Showing you here, opening up our apps, the Bluetooth settings you can see not available in valet mode. So you can tell Tesla has put a lot of thought into this to make valet mode limited to what the driver can do and change in terms of your settings. And I think they did a really good job of limiting the right things. So that's gonna wrap up this video. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll see you back here next time.